guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested. That Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. Your wish is my command. I always knew I could count on you. You're a true ally, a loyal one, a future asset in my primogen. But one thing at a time. Before we get there, I have another favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice, Delson. We need to blind them from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the council, MM. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right? How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across, all right? What then? Kai has wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, it'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. Allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Send someone else to negotiate. A real emissary. No one else knows the Anarchs as well as you do. They go to your clubs, don't they? They know who you are. They know they can trust you. I barely know them. I see a couple of them once in a while, but that's it. We're not exactly friends. You're still in the best position to negotiate with them. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with the idea of sending them to be slaughtered. It's... despicable. It's just politics. And it's probably your only chance to come back in one piece. 
What if I refuse? I won't let you. Your conscience is of no concern to me. The only thing that matters is our survival. And too bad if it keeps you up at night. The true face of the Camarilla. Right then. Let's say I agree. You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. Their Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Sorry, Miss Lewis. The Prince is holding an audience. M.M., there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. No worries. I heard your little adventure with our guests was quite the success. Congratulations. Thanks. I was just about to go grab a bite. Join me? Is that a question or an order? Let's say it's a strong recommendation. One you can't really refuse. Hmm. That's what it sounded like. Please, lead the way. Very well. Is there something in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Can't I simply offer you a drink without you reading something into it? No. <sighs> All right, fine. Your new mission has been giving me pause to think. I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me, is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I'm sorry. You're right, you're my sire, I should believe you. And I do. We good? Would you tell me what you know? Please. Seriously, you don't think you're laying it on a little too thick? Not at all. You can be such a pain sometimes. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well, let's move on. Reports from Richard and Laisha are truly frightening. I never thought I'd see a day like this. Predators never see themselves as prey. We're going to have to be extremely cautious if we want to survive. Do you have any plans? No. I'm waiting for Hazel's orders. We're dependent on her now more than ever. I wanted to ask you about something a little weird, if you've got a couple minutes. I'm all ears. Is something wrong? When I went to see the Tremere, I fell into a kind of 
memory trap. What? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Long story short, I lost some memories. Well, memory fragments. I think I recovered some of them, but I'm not sure. I saw our breakup again. Oh, wonderful. It was like I was reliving the whole thing, but from the outside looking in. Did you see anything else? I saw the night I was attacked. The blood bond. I heard their voices again. Their laughter. Ma'am. I'm fine. I know at least one of them paid for what they did to me. Yeah. I saw my trial for destroying Pro Bono. You warned me about King, but I wouldn't listen. And you paid the price for my mistake. I know. It's all right, ma'am. It's all in the past. No, that's not true. You still have that goddamn mark on your neck. I'm so sorry. I never meant for you to pay for my mistakes. You didn't deserve that. I... Thank you. It means a lot to me. But you're not the one who branded me. King did that. I know. Ugh, what I wouldn't give to have him here right now so I can make him pay. I can imagine. But don't worry about it. Someone will eventually pay him in kind. I hope so. I saw my embrace oh really yeah it was weird we were so happy back then i was at least so was i <sighs> yeah remember the night we learned about france's surrender in 1940 vaguely why I heard his speech on the radio. We were in Bordeaux. Wow, you sure have a knack for remembering the happier memories. I didn't get to decide. They were there, that's all. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how... Traumatizing it must have been. It's never good to go stirring up the past. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks for sharing with me. I gotta go. I've got stuff to do. Just a sec. I know Hazel told you not to talk about it. But please, at least tell me where you're headed. You're unbelievable. The air is thick in here. You can understand my concern, can't you? I'm going to see the Anarchs. What? It's a long story. I'll explain when I get back. I've really got to go. All right. Be careful, ma'am. Did you need something else? The reports from Richard and Leisha are truly frightening. I never thought I'd see a day like this. Predators never see themselves as prey. We're going to have to be extremely cautious if we want to survive. Do you have any plans? No, I'm waiting for Hazel's orders. We're dependent on her now more than ever. I can't imagine you waiting for the prince to do something. But here I am, doing just that. No, you've always got a plan B. You're not telling me everything. I... fine. You win. I can't talk about it here, but yes, I've got our backs covered. Our backs? You're my blood, Mem. But enough about that. 
Hazel seems to have a few cards up her sleeve. Let's put our faith in that for now. I've got to go. See you. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, how are things? Let me know if you need anything. Notes from the Convention of Thorns. There you are. I heard about your little trip to see the Warlocks. Sounds like you're starting to get the hang of the machinations of the court. Unfortunately, you'll need more than diplomacy to survive the SI. So you know about it? The whole court does. Backstage, people are checking their scripts. There are some who are already thinking of running away. I'm not even surprised. All courts have their parasites. Boston's full of cowards like them. That's how you recognize a powerful throne. Moths are attracted to the flame. I can't blame them. I've seen the Second Inquisition's hunters up close in London. Too close for comfort, actually. They're right to be afraid. You'll need to be careful, darling, and surround yourself with associates you can trust. <laughs> That's a rare commodity around here. You've got your sire. Hilda was furious after you left for the library. She really seemed worried about you. As always. But I survived. You did. Actually, when you were there, did you run into my emissary? I still haven't heard anything. I found your associate, or what was left of him. The Warlocks did him in long before the Code Red. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why?! He probably disappointed them. It doesn't take much to piss them off. Osborne will pay for what he did. Your emissary had stolen something. Some sort of alchemical formula. It appears they were trying to preserve the properties of the blood. The report will be of more use to you than it is to me. Oh, Crawford. Thank you. We've been turning in circles for years. We're way behind. This paper will accelerate our research. I've told you everything I know. And it's precious. Uh, the question now is whether this paper is worth the unlife that the Warlocks stole. What if it's not? Then Osborne will get no rest. But it's not your problem anymore. You've done enough already. This work on the properties of blood, even if it's minor, is extremely valuable. Our cities are teeming with kindred and our enemies are legion. If we don't learn how to control our blood supply, our species will inevitably decline. That explains why these agreements were so important to Hazel. She wants to hold the key to our survival. Think of the power she would have if she could do it. But she's not the only one in the race anymore. Thanks to you. Thanks, M.M. If I can do anything to repay you, let me know. I always wondered how a city like London could fall. A kindred stronghold? That old? Wiped out in just a few nights. What was it like? 
Do you remember the attack? Oh, it's not a very pleasant memory. I can imagine. Those bastards really did a number on a lot of folks. But I need info on them. Why? I'm not allowed to talk about it. But trust me, it's important. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'd rather not talk about it. I don't want to relive that nightmare. I get it. Sorry. Did I miss anything? last night? Not really. Things were pretty calm until Dr. Dunham came back. Things got a little tense when the topic of the Second Inquisition came up. I can imagine the shockwave. We're at the court. People try to save face. But I saw a few masks start to dissolve. The next few hours are going to be decisive. This is gonna sound weird. Have you ever heard of memory magic? No, never heard of it. Where do you hear about that? My visit to the Warlocks. I don't know what they did, but they got inside my head. The Tremere are brilliant, but dangerous. Iverson should never have sent you there alone. I learned my lesson. Hazel wants to send me back out there tonight. She's trying to get help from the Anarchs. Well, aren't we the elite soldier to send behind enemy lines? I'd appreciate any advice you could give me. I've spent a lot of time with the Anarchs, but never in a situation like this. I imagine that'll depend on what your prince wants to negotiate. If you hang around with them, then you know they're proud. Stubborn. So you think there's no hope? Everyone has their weakness. You just need to find the right button to push. I know they're always fighting over scraps of power. Could I use that to my advantage? Hmm, that's an interesting flaw. That's the exact reason the Anarch movement has always had a hard time solidifying. It's risky, but it could work to your advantage. You should expect some resistance from them. Some will likely try to put you on your heels or even lie to you outright. Don't let yourself be fooled by them. I'll try not to forget it. Thanks, Victoria. It's my pleasure. I've gotta go. It's gonna be a long night. No matter what happens tonight. I'm happy I got to see you again. Why does that sound like goodbye? A mem? It's gonna be fine. See you later. <sighs> be careful. I'm sorry, ma'am, but if you're looking for Mr. Underwood, I think he just left.
I'm sorry, you can't go in there. I'd better hurry. A direct route to the prince's apartments. April plays the guard dog. The swan's nest. I hope it's worth it. Didn't know Hazel was into music. I've always found swans very moving. They're beautiful, but full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. There are faint marks on the wall. Hazel had another child before Miley? Shit. I had no idea. Seeing as how it ended, I'm not really surprised. I understand better now why Dijon never mentioned his sire. Hazel's always one step ahead. There are faint marks on the wall. I wonder if... Something moved. That explains why Hazel's holding off on Fang's embrace. Underwood. What a creep. The Zori is a loyal dog. And Hazel's got him on a short leash. Hazel said there was an accident. But it was actually an execution. If Leisha were to find out... So Hazel has her eye on my clubs. Ugh, politics. Always politics. 
What's her game? Is this how she thanks her allies? I should go. It's gonna be a long night. Not just yet. First, the Anarchs. Mm, but I have to find them first. Halsey? Yes, Mom. I'm here. Only Richard would still use that. Richard must have had a breakthrough, if Hazel's interested in it. Hey, Pumpkin. What are you looking at? The picture... is scary. Come now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be afraid of a couple paintings now, are you? No... but... Yes, I know. It's Richard. He was angry, but he wasn't angry with you. You know... I don't think he is. He doesn't like me following you around. Yes, but it's because he worries you'll get hurt. Pumpkin, there are much more serious things going on right now. Those people who put us into boxes. And who hurt you. Yes, them. But don't be scared. Mommy's here. I know. I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. There you are. But... What on earth is that mark? I ran into an experienced Inquisitor. I was caught off guard. Not a dangerous mission, was it? You brought back a souvenir. I'm still in one piece. That's all that matters. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since I got back, but... Uh... The prince hasn't given me a moment's rest since I returned. But I won't hide the fact that I was happy that you were the one to... Well... That I informed them about the Second Inquisition. Yes, I can imagine. Everyone's petrified. I can sense it. Hazel lost it when she found out. 
I had a hard time convincing her I was telling the truth. I admit that even I... She's going to ask for your help. I'm sure of it. She didn't follow your treatment protocol. Usually, I give you your treatment when you awaken. You're not stable, Leisha. Enough with that already. You failed miserably with the mission the Prince gave you. That's proof of it. What do you mean? You didn't have a firm grasp of the risks. How could I have guessed that? And to top it off, you didn't bring anyone back to the Prince. You'll become more and more overwhelmed by your visions and your hallucinations. All this because she's afraid. Hazel has become dependent on you. Don't you think you're blowing things a bit out of proportion? Dependent on me? On your visions, of course. Don't you understand? She didn't bring them up? She did mention them in passing. She needs your premonitions to help her anticipate the future, to try to influence the course of events. She would like to, you mean? What do you mean by that? They're strange images. You mean to say they're symbolic? That's it, symbolic, I guess. But it's hard to say what they could mean. That's why I don't think it's a good idea to encourage Hazel to think she can rely on your visions to serve her own ambitions. Here's a dose of your treatment. Take it immediately. This will rid me of my premonitions, is that it? I don't have time to break this to you gently. I have to go straight to the point. What are you talking about? Leisha, Halsey isn't real. What? It's not true, is it? You're the only one who sees her. No, no, no. Our family has a gift for seeing things. No, no, I... Halsey is my daughter. In your mind, it's always difficult to pull you away from her. That's why I try to treat you as soon as you awaken to keep Halsey from reappearing. He's lying, Mom! He hates me! You're either lying or you're wrong. I don't know which, but it's not true. Leisha. But, but Hazel, H Hazel sees her. When your hallucinations increase, your premonitions do too. They become more specific and more reliable. And that's what the Prince wants. But you grow increasingly catatonic. Halsey starts to take over. No! I don't want you to leave me! Enough! Shut up, both of you! It's just you and me, Leisha. Oh, no. He's a liar. It's, it's not true. I regret having to inflict this terrible shock on you each and every time. Every time? Leisha, the prince wants to see you immediately. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. I should have left for the Red Salon already. Why? No, you, you can't just leave like that. I have too many questions. Hazel doesn't like to wait. We'll have time. Go now. Obey the Prince, Leisha. Stay where it's safe, and above all, drink. <sighs> there. I'm coming. Laisha, I wanted to thank both of you for- The prince sees me. See, Mom? Richard's a liar. Are you all right, Laisha? You see me? Quit pretending. Come now, Laisha. What's wrong? You've been pretending to see Halsey since the very beginning. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Halsey is part of you, and I accept you just the way you are. That's all. Oh, I, I see. You are the only one I trust. Tell me, why would I play games with you? That's exactly the question I'm asking you. It's more complicated than it seems. Halsey has made you better. 
And in my opinion, she's good for you. I don't know about that. But I don't like feeling like I'm being toyed with. Nobody is toying with you. It's quite the contrary. We all need you. Now, more than ever before. You need to help us. Obviously. But what exactly do you want me to do this time? An impression, an opinion about what's going on. A premonition, basically. Don't take it like that. Others are less scrupulous than I, believe me. What are you talking about? Richard, for one, who has manipulated your memory multiple times. What? Ask him about it. Just know that there are far worse than me creeping around you, Laisha. Mom? It's not as simple as that. I don't choose when they happen. Mom! Mom, listen to me! Yes, sweetie. What is it? There's no point. The swan will lose its head in two days. I just saw it. We know, Mom. What's going on? Leisha, is Halsey speaking to you? What is she saying? Halsey sees a swan. It'll lose its head in two days. But that could mean a lot of things. It's not very clear, you mean? Nothing's ever certain, and... Of course. There's... There's got to be a way to... Shuffle things. There must. Not after everything I've done. I won't believe it. Hazel, I... Please leave. I need to think. As you wish. I don't know who to believe anymore. Richard or Hazel. Please, Mom. I'll be a good girl, I promise. So, we're inseparable? Like two peas in a pod? Yes. Like two peas in a pod, sweetie. <sighs> Mom? What's wrong? Yes, I'm fine, it's all right. It's just, I need to talk to Richard, Pumpkin. Again? No, we're happy together. It's not just you. The hallway, my memory. He has to explain this. I want to understand. All right, as long as we're together. 